In this video, we're going to discuss classes with classes. So when you're creating a class, you might determine that one object can belong to another object. And this is called a has a relationship. For example, you can have a class called person and a class called team. And a team object may contain five person objects within it. Another example is a car has four tire objects. A car object also has a steering wheel object and a windshield object and an engine object and, and so on. In the previous videos we created this class called person that has a name and an age. And let's say that a person can have a car object. By saying private car and that's the person's car. Let's just call it lowercase car. So we don't have a car class, so let's create a car class by saying new class car. And here is a class called car. And just by simply adding this empty class, the error goes away. Now a person can have a car that belongs to them. And we could also define the car by saying private string make private string model and private double fuel private string color there's a lot of fields that you could add the odometer in the car and we're gonna need a lot of get and set methods because they're all private and rather than me typing them all I'm gonna show you guys a quick trick in Eclipse you can right click in your program and go to source generate getters and setters select all the fields that you want and click OK there is all the getters and setter methods created for you automatically in Eclipse so here is a person and a person can have a car and I also need a get and set method for that car source generate getters and setters select the car there's a get car and set car method so let's create a person object and give that person a car so in person demo we created a person named Mary Bob and a person named Katie so let's give let's give Katie a car C dot set car and I need to pass a car object to it so let's set that to new car just like that so we set Katie's car I could have also created the car first by saying car Honda equals new car and passed Honda to set car either way is fine but it's probably a lot simpler to just do it that way and if I wanted to set some data I could say C dot get the car dot and call the set method set Katie's car to blue C dot get car and call the set make to a Honda and so on so hopefully this makes sense so we're calling the same old person set method but we're passing a new car to it so this is going to create space and memory to store a car object and now the car belongs to person and by simply saying the person object dot get car we're getting back the person object and then once we have that object we're calling the set methods and passing blue as the color and Honda as the make so this is basically how classes within classes works we have a class called person and one of the fields is another class instance of that class called car